Hey y'all. Today's lesson is called Relations and Functions. We're getting into our new unit, Relations and Functions. So here's the vocabulary. Relation or relation. A set of ordered pairs comparing two variables. So you've known ordered pairs in x comma y. You know we graph. So any ordered pairs is a relation. Now within that relation you have domain and range. A domain are the x values also known as the input and the independent variable. The range is the y values, the output, and the dependent variable. A function is a special type of relation that when one output is paired with one input. Um, and we're going to talk about that. So get your vocabulary down. All right, so write these examples down. <clears throat> find the domain and range. So I'm going to show you how to find the domain and range. The domain are the x values, the range are the y values. So we have an, a relation, we have a set of ordered pairs. And the domain is the x value. So in an ordered pair, the very first one is the x and the second one is the y value for every ordered pair. So the domain are going to be all the x values. So we have negative 4, negative 2, 0, 1, and 2. Those are the domains of that relation. The range values are the y values, so those are going to be the second values. 3, negative 1, 0, 4, and 6. Anytime that you have to find the domain and range, the domain are your x values, the range are your y values. So for the second one, number two, the domain are your beginning, the first values. Their x values, negative 6, negative 3, 1, 2, and 3. Your range are your y values, the second value. So negative 4, negative 1, 2, 4, and 7. All right, now number three is a relation because you have a set of ordered pairs. Do you see these dots? These dots are your set of ordered pairs. So if you need to find the domain of ordered pairs, you have to find those points. So this value is going to be negative 3 up 3. That is that point. This point is over 2 up 1. And this point is over 0 and down 1. Now that I have my three ordered pairs, I can find the domain and the range. The domain are the x values. So negative 3, 2, and 0. And the range values are 3, 1, and negative 1. So that was quick, but that's how you find the domain and range. You just take the x-coordinates and the y-coordinates. Okay, the bell might ring. So, is this relation a function? Like I said, a function is a special type of relation. And the way that we find out is we're going to use mapping. So what you do is you take your relation. And you put your domain values in one circle, and you put a D for the domain. You take your range values, and you put it in another circle for the range. You'll notice I had two threes, so I just wrote one three. And I had two zeros, so I just wrote one zero. You don't have to write two zeros. You just write one of each number. And now we map. What mapping means is you're going to draw an arrow from the domain to the range to see if it's paired. So negative one goes to two. 0 goes to 3, 4 goes to 3, and 0 goes to 5. That's called mapping. Now the test is, do you see any domain value that has two different range values? If you have any domain value that has two different errors coming from it, that is bad. That means it's not a function. So in this example, 0 is paired with 3, but 0 is also paired with 5. That breaks the rules. A function can only have one domain and paired with one range, meaning you can only have one of these numbers. You can't have one number go into two ranges. It has to be one to one. Because if I said, what is 0 paired with? Well, 0 is paired with 3 and 5. So the answer is no. This is not a function because you have 0 go into two different ranges. Let's do number 2. I'm going to write down my domains. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to write down my ranges. 0, 
negative 2, 0 again, and 5. I map 1 to 0, 2 to negative 2, 3 to 0, and 4 to 5. So we look at it. Is there any one domain value that goes to two different ranges? So we look. And now there's two numbers going to zero, but that's okay. You can't have two arrows coming from a domain. So this answer would be yes, this is a function. So what we're going to do, the bell rings. I'm going to stop before kids start coming in, and we'll pick up right here on number three. Part two of this video is going to be right here.